big thing for me as Victor should Victor and I'm always thinking every day what do I want to bring but also still sticking to delivering my message in every video that I bring um, regardless of how random it is uh, so what next uh, is something that I've been thinking but um, I want to explore Africa more so right now interestingly it's transitioning our full-time job that is also part-time so content creation is something i enjoy i don't even look at it as a job but apparently now it's been well paying in the dam site where they found so many bodies so there was one gentleman who wanted to steal everything from me and he he'd just come from jail the previous day and he expressed his young to go back to the jail so he was like oh i want to kill somebody so what keeps you going? What keeps me going? I think I said in the last part, if you remember, as Lina, and you, do you guys remember what I said that keeps me going? My biggest inspiration one is poverty coming from Kibera. Um, I wouldn't want anyone. So I, I don't want to be in the place that I, I was as a young person growing up in Kibera and being judged for not having. One of my main themes in the brand is remember to have money, if you guys remember. So I think money is my inspiration and also walking away from poverty. I'm running away from poverty. But most importantly, inspiration, and that's the reason we are all here as YouTubers, uh, to inspire other young people, especially from Kibera, but globally, to, you know, have something for themselves. Because money is a great enabler. It's in you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What next? That's a good question. Transition has been a big thing for me as Victor should Victor. And I'm always thinking every day, what do I want to bring? But also still sticking to delivering my message in every video that I bring, um, regardless of how random it is. Uh, so what next uh, is something that I've been thinking, but um, I want to explore Africa more. Yeah. I want to explore Africa more uh, because I hit three quarters of Europe, so that means I can hit the entire Africa probably in two months. Yes. Another question. Yes, well, about the month, eh? <laughs> what inspires your outfits? Like, or do you have a fashionista? Or is there a story behind you? And how, how you dress? Because your videos, you always, you, you know, you have a certain style of dressing. Wow. Thank you for the compliment. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, as a young person in Kibera, entrepreneurship was one of my things. So I used to buy clothes in Gikomba, which is the biggest one. When I was in university and I was selling to my fellow students. Um, so I think that also invited a taste of mine, but also being a hip hopper. I run one of the hip hop movements and organization in Eastern Central Africa. So yeah, that also inspires me. I want to look cool for my students to look cool. <laughs> yes. We travel most of the time, and a lot of the times, maybe. Uh, what's the challenging part of that, apart from any fatigue? Pesa, money, money, money. <laughs> money is the biggest challenge when you travel, but also traveling in certain Europe is also language barrier as well, because. I was in France where everybody's like, oh, can I just do what I want over there? <laughs> they assume because you're there, you know it, in Slovakia, Slovenia as well, you go to some countries and they think just because you're there, like you'd see Miko and speak to him in English and then he says, Niko Sao, and then you're like, oh, you know, yeah, so that is the second thing, but also um, the borders. The borders that have been created, especially for Africans and East Africans, our passport is very controlled that you can't get into certain, but well, I've not been restricted, but it's a bit ish ish. The other thing is uh, when you travel to a place and you see evidently that people see your color and uh, you, they judge you from your color. So, but my biggest uh, challenge was seeing a human being look at us, looking at us with spite, like somebody literally spitting because he's seen a black person. And then you think, oh, he's spitting. And then you look at him and he's looking at you like this. So, but those ones were not taking, but money, money is the biggest challenge when you travel, but I had my travel plan well. 
and maybe last one uh, in your in your process maybe you travel and you're recording or maybe you in a certain situation where maybe you've recorded what you're not supposed to record or kuna some kind of restriction that you are you because you're a, a visitor well that's a good question i think one of the thing that one of the things that i told myself as a youtuber is over the years is gain confidence and share what you want to share regardless things are going to happen people are not going to be happy about what you share but also do it respectfully you just don't want to see somebody being a laughing you know you get what i mean so there are also ethical rules to recording but also mine is always with a theme in mind i want to share in situations where i found myself recording now uh, there was one time in slovakia they had um, um an anniversary for the world war 2 and it was a very tense one and uh the only two black people Dennis is not here that we travel with and i was recording because i wanted to share with the world i, I find it really um awkward that you know uh they are celebrating that anniversary and i also got to learn that you know world war 2 was not a thing for africans we are recruited to join things that you know are not for us but in in not many scenarios because i think my confidence is one of the things that stands out so even for somebody to think about approaching me maybe tomorrow after i'm gone that's when they think to me oh, block one they could i know i know this thing that a lot of people but then generally i i, I never found myself no except when i was doing the nairobi the nairobi edition when i was sharing the constituencies in nairobi is when i found myself in the dam site where they found so many bodies so there was one gentleman wanted to steal everything from me and he he just come from jail the previous day and he expressed his yearn to go back to the jail so he was like oh i want to kill somebody so i can go back to jail and i see you are here <laughs> so but uh, yeah luckily enough i survived that Swelling movement. Yes, because. So, are you doing content creation full time or part time? Um, I think right now, interestingly, uh, by Yago. Yeah. So right now, interestingly, it's transitioning. I have a full time job that is also part time. So content creation is something I enjoy. I don't even look at it as a job, but apparently now it's been well paying. So I'm really look thinking about even expanding more. Would you guys want to see another channel? Yes. What would you want to see in that other channel? Um, <laughs> yeah. So who knows? I might transition into full time if it all if all goes well. Swali, swali, swali. Good. So, yeah. so it's good we're celebrating 5k. I wanted to share some little things here, but you have to honey. So, so. Uh, so um where do we start from? I want to start from money, Cindy. <laughs> There is money here to be won. How much? <laughs> we will know, we shall know. <laughs> <laughs> we shall know how much it is to be won after somebody wins it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so now, are you guys ready to win? Yes. All we do so I'm going to ask the question. Put your phones down and away and pay attention to win. You can also quench your thirst or eat something if you want to. Need be I'm going to ask a question and if you feel like you have the answer you can stand and answer it. If you don't win the money comes back to me. <laughs> so so. Yes. Are you guys ready yes. for the money? First question. Willy is not here. Willy doesn't want the money. Willy we are waiting for you. Hi, person do you ah First question. Will you ready? 
Yeah, we are winning money. Okay. When was VWV started? Month and year. Yes, Victor. Uh, two, two, three. Month. Uh, I'm not sure about the month. Month and year, Benji. <laughs> Buddy, <laughs> he's not supposed to answer this question. Yeah, 2023. Why is he not supposed to? 2023? <laughs> huh? no. March. March, very good. Love <laughs> yeah. for Benji, guys. <laughs> well, well, none of these people know this question since me who knows the questions. And then we have, um, we have, um, Oh, open how much do you guys want to know how much it is? Yes. I'm gonna keep it a secret. Yes, yes. I want to know. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> show them how much you want. Hello. Okay, what a point! Don't shake. <laughs> <laughs> a thousand Kenyan shillings. <laughs> like, Good job. It's very unfortunate for Wambo or Nyam Nyamura that uh, my mom is Nyamura, so that's beautiful. That she was not given a memo on what is going on. How many subscribers exactly does VWV has? <laughs> Let's give Danny and then you and then, and then, and then, and then, and then Miko and then you. 5,500. Huh? 5,500. 5,500 sit down. <laughs> uh, 5.04. Yeah. What particularly? 5.04. Come for Danny, man. Ah, okay. There's still more goodies. You want to see what Danny has won? It's probably a goodie for your baby. <laughs> That's from Slovakia, guys. So, a beautiful wow. chain from Slovakia. Nice. Okay, are you guys ready for the next question? Yes. Unam Katuna. Because I need not win anything. I know, but let them win, let them win. How many YouTubers has Victor's mentored, VWV mentored, and named them? Namka? No, no, no. Sema. Okay. No, okay. Tell us how many YouTubers. Uh, not seven. How many? I know, be exact, bro. This is something to win. I know three. <laughs> oh, you're wrong, sit down. I know three. Uh, any other person? Can I try? No, you give us the number first. I'm, I'm, okay, four. Uh, four. Four. The first one? John. John. Uh, Nasri. Nasri. Uh, Miko. Miko. Uh, uh, his brother. I don't know. His brother. Mm -hmm. That's four already. Yeah, he's the last one. For me, you, you missed, bro. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Any other person? A man can try. <laughs> so I'm gonna say it and then I'll get this gift. Oh. So it's a beautiful sunglass from France. Mm -hmm. Clap for me. <laughs> <laughs> so when I was traveling, I mentored three other YouTubers. But we have John, who was my first student on YouTube, mm -hmm. and then we had Nasri, then we had uh, Vince brother, then we have Miko, and then we have the three from. So six. Mm. No, seven. I was right, seven. seven. You said just about, bro. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I was happy there. Ah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Guys, so are you ready for the next question? Yes. Uh, this is a bigger, heavier one. How many views that VWV have? Round it off to the nearest a thousand views. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. 
Like you said, the nearest thousand. Six hundred thousand. <laughs> good <laughs> trial, good trial. Who <laughs> has it exactly? <laughs> That's a good one. So if you meet someone who doesn't have it, me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> John, John. Uh, I don't know if it's fair, but let's see. I don't know, but I wanna, I wanna say my own. Ah, around. <laughs> Six hundred and seventy-three thousand something. Six hundred and seventy-three thousand. Let's come and come and see close then. Six, oh, you six, have to say a number. Okay, six seventy-three thousand. Six hundred and seventy-three thousand. So if you go to the channel, so we have Johnny um, Reed. 676,000 views. So, what do we do with Victor? Good trial. <laughs> <laughs> Show people what you want, bruh. And this is for your sister or your brother. Nice. Those are from Germany. Thank you. Nice. So, we have a bag here. Are you guys ready <laughs> for the next question? A beautiful laptop bag. More than a feeling carry bag in the alcohol. Name ten countries that Victor visited. Ten countries. Kumi, Safi. You stand. Okay, Nico first and then who else? Okay. It's you are okay. I'm kind of order. We'll follow the order if you miss us. Okay, let's start with Nico. Because we have more than you want to try. Who else wants to try? Okay, okay. Yeah, because we have more than two. If you stumble, you sit down. More than okay, nice. I'm not sure if I'll get it. No, minutes. but go, okay, go, let's go, go, bro. Go. Let's go. Uh, France. France. Slovakia. Slovakia. Germany. Germany. Estonia. Estonia. Uh, Austria. Austria. Denmark. Den Denmark was not in the picture. Ah. Bro. Sit down. <laughs> <laughs> Love for me. Ah, yeah. you, you mean when you travel or all the countries? No, when I travel. Ah, this no, tour. No, no. This tour. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah. Let's give it to Ben. Uh, France. France. Croatia. 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 Austria. Austria. Estonia. Estonia. Denmark. Netherlands. 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 Germany. Germany. Belgium. 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 Ooh. We have the. Three more. Three more to go. We have. Slovakia. We have this country. Which country? Two more to go in the bag. Finland. One more. One more. If not, we give it to Babu. No, no, no. It's not a country. Yeah, you can stand. If they don't win it. One more to go. Five counts for Benji. Five. Four. four three. I see the German. Yeah. Yes. Two. One. Have a seat. Clap for Benji. <laughs> ah, yeah. Babu, let's go. Uh, mine is a pass because I thought every country that you visited. No. And if it's where you travel. Well, this tour. Let's go. Um, uh, Slovakia. Slovakia. France. France. Uh, mm. Is it England? England, mm. sit down. <laughs> uh, let's try again. Uh, Who else wants to try? Uh -huh. Slovakia. Slovakia. Estonia. Estonia. Finland. Finland. Croatia. Croatia. Germany. Germany. Austria. Austria. Uh, mm -hmm. Netherlands. Netherlands. Belgium. Belgium. Uh, 
I'm trying to go with your videos. <laughs> go with my videos, get it, get it, get it, Finland. One more. One more to go. One more. France. Did you say France? I said France. Yeah. Okay, let's start again. France, Slovakia, Germany, Estonia, Netherlands, Finland, uh, Belgium, uh, Netherlands. Netherlands, you're saying twice, bro. This is your last chance. Start again. Let's go. Wait, let's start again. France. France. Good France. Good Belgium. Belgium. Croatia. Croatia. Estonia. Estonia. Finland. Finland. Uh, Netherlands. Netherlands. Uh, <laughs> you have five counts for the three. <laughs> wow. Anybody who wants to take some beautiful bag. Yeah. We give Benji another chance. Let's go, Benji. Let's go, Benji. Let's go. France. France. Slovakia. Slovakia. Netherlands. Netherlands. Germany. Germany. Croatia. Croatia. Finland. Finland. Slovenia. 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 Belgium. Finland. <laughs> you say <laughs> Finland. You say exactly. Two more. Let's go. Two more. I said Slovakia. No. Say it. Slovakia. I said Slovenia, not Slovakia. Slovakia. I said Slovenia. Ah, okay. One more. Up and down. Austria. Austria. Good job. <laughs> Ah, congratulations, you won yourself a laptop bag. Yeah, thank you very much, guys, uh, for this. Uh, but I also wanted to share, I know you guys have questions for me, if you do. I also wanted to share something about, the theme for today was tranquility. So this is very general. Um, I think the two of you can share this. Uh, Nyambu, you can share with him. And then Babu, you can share with him. Miko, you can share with him. So you can read to us that, and then I want to relate to it just before we get into Trump. And also, Kuliba. Start from the top. Yeah. We can start from you this way. Okay. Uh, to be calm is the highest achievement of of the self uh, Zen proverb your take on that my take um, or a share of it to be calm uh, I think calm uh, is like patience yeah? yeah so I think being calm is the key of everything mm -hmm. yeah. that's your gift for today <laughs> that's it our gift <laughs> So, me and Benji, um, serenity is not found, but uh, it's created. What do you think? Like here, yeah, what I think, good things don't come easily. You have mm. to look for them, though, as it creates more chances to get into. Mm -hmm. I just add on what Benji said. Uh, basically, if you sit back and just close yourself, uh, don't take risks, you won't be able to... Like, uh, let me use Victor as an example. If Victor decided, no, I'll just do my vlogs in Kenya and stuff like that, he wouldn't experience what he experienced and the memories he has created and the stuff he's learned. Mm -hmm. So for me, just take risks, uh, follow your passion, don't be scared, don't be like Miko. <laughs> but uh, now, thanks to Victor, I am not scared. I am now able to talk to the camera head on. So yeah, everything you do, 
creates substance in your life so if you sit back and cocoon yourself you won't be able to explore discover and also grow your mind mm -hmm. so i'm sure if victor comes back home when he came back home the things that his mind opened up to and uh yeah he's not the same i can tell you that for a fact the experiences he experienced and he wouldn't have experienced them if he did not uh if he cocooned himself that's what i'm saying mm. yeah <laughs> okay i was saying peace comes from within do not seek it without it's, it's from buddha so i think it's all about appreciating yourself like not seeking the materialistic stuff like for you to handle any task your mind have to be at peace so and also to solve anything you must be at peace so for me what i understand about this is try to be at peace and don't try to seek it far away far away from you because it's just to get family friends yeah being at peace with your mind <clears throat> for me uh, i think that uh, peace comes from within so like i don't have to overthink about something or to do something so i have to relax and be positive with it then do it once then so I don't tranquility is not a place but a state of mind uh, my view is uh, you have to find peace in your mind because this as a content creation you have to be uh, it's creating and for you to create something good something exciting something that people can relate to you have to be cannot create it with, with you having a lot in your mind stress uh, so i think uh, you have to find space in uh, your, your mind your heart the place the, the space surrounding for you to have a good creative space yeah. super better so i have a message for you for me yes from um, mohan uh, he says congratulations uh, so he couldn't make it and uh, he misses you <laughs> we miss him too <laughs> uh, one more in the midst of movement and chaos keep it stillness inside of you read again in the midst of movement and chaos keep it stillness inside of you Okay, uh, mimi nazasema uh let me read in the midst of movement and chaos keep stillness inside of you. So nazasema uh at a point you find yourself in a situation where, where maybe there's no, there's a lot going on you have to just try and be calm and still because mm -hmm. uh, when you're calm you can figure out how to get yourself in any situation mm -hmm. but when you're confused and uh, maybe let me just say confused you can't even think in a right way and make the right choice or decision that's powerful yeah. Yeah. yeah so that's what i wanted to share today i'm not sure if there's anything particular somebody wants to learn but i'm open and happy to share how many of us are monetizing? Hmm? Are there? Hmm? Are there one of my favorite? Everyone one. See, hey, to pick your mark up I mean, everybody has been putting in work here. Yeah, yes, mainly, but uh, I'm not sure uh, like how it is in YouTube, but in the music side, I'm monetizing. Ah, uh, your monitor uh, on the YouTube or on YouTube, other yeah. platforms? Uh, like all platforms. Even YouTube. Yeah. How many subscribers? Uh, I have one ninety-seven. 
One and seven. You don't get monetized with one and seven. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Yeah. Are you earning? Yeah, I'm earning. From YouTube? Yeah. Oh. From these two places. Oh. Yeah. But you have one and seven. seven. If you have a, a music distribution, a distribution platform. Mm -hmm. But this is not through YouTube. Yeah. Different platforms. Because eh? I get paid from ads and stuff. Just like a normal YouTuber. Really? Yeah. So for me, it's being paid by YouTube. Yeah. Oh, uh, from YouTube. Oh, that's there. Congratulations. Yeah. yeah. So there's money on YouTube, and um, Mimi, um, I'm, 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 I'm living testimony of that, and it's really good money. It's fairly good money for us as young people. So I employ. Well, bro. You're welcome to the late. I'll be five k to you, man. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate. It. Yeah, we'll get a word from him later, but I think to keep the momentum. Yeah, so I was asking, is there any questions you guys have in particular? Anything that you'd want to do different from how I did? Because if we were saying I'm going to give a YouTube course, it would take the whole day. So maybe we break it down for the poll and then we do the course maybe later. From the particular question, yes, Bob. From the particular question, uh, my question was uh, with content, your content, like um, the ideas you get. Uh, do you like think, or uh, uh, are you maybe uh, like, like, how to put it, like uh, not sure to like you know having different thoughts before you uh, you do a content, or you just sure, or you just give what you feel. Uh, well, I think, I think uh, for me, what's the most powerful message that I carry with myself every time I want to put out a video is the message Nyambu and uh, Lloyd have read. Ama Warudi. And some of them are Nyambu. Have a trooper? Read it again. In the midst of movement and chaos, keep stillness inside of you. So I'm very aware of the chaos around me and around us generally, around the world and the movements. So for me, I stay still and then decide. Usually for my videos, I decide one theme that I want to pass all through the video. And then whatever I'm doing around it, it's encompassed around that theme particularly. So I didn't hear yes. Uh, how do you share your, do you share videos Ama, I, you have reached a point where you have those viewers that they come to your video, they come to your channel every time you drop a new video? I think my story is a very powerful accident. I don't know if it's an accident. Or Manyala was telling me yesterday that his career is an accident. But my story is um, uh, a very miraculous testimony that I have a very solid good number of supporters on YouTube who consistently watch my videos and some of them repeat watching the videos that watched previously. So uh, one of the advices I took on my YouTube course is do not be the first to share your videos. So when I post my video, I give it uh, 30 to 45 minutes so YouTube can do their thing on the algorithm. And then later, the only place I share, uh, rarely do I share on WhatsApp status, rarely do I send it to uh, people's contact, but I used to before monetization. Because before monetization, you're searching for watch hours and the subscribers. But after that, you let YouTube, after you get monetized, work becomes very easy. YouTube starts telling you what to do, what not to do, how to do it, how not to do it. But also, yeah, so after 45 minutes, I share on my Instagram stories and also on my, sometimes on my WhatsApp status. But the, 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 some of the videos move organically. Right now, I have a number uh, that I'm working with because numbers don't lie. So for YouTube after monetization, our views might count, but also I think I'm at a place where I'm with YouTubers who have bigger numbers, bigger subscribers, but I get more money than them. How that works, I want to share in the next course that I, I, I hopefully will do and share. 
but um, organically after monetization YouTube helps you distribute and share the videos yes one last one from me mm. uh, personally I have uh, problems deciding on caption to use on my YouTube videos like captioning it upon and set a coach video do you have the similar problem and how do you uh, go to writing the caption for your videos oh, that's a good question manzi so yeah for a while i had it but like i said uh and they say practice makes perfect now things happen organically by the time i'm shooting a video in my head i have three things the theme actually five things first is the intro the body and the ending the theme and the caption so you always have it yes because it guides me through the video to not be going around and around yes good questions eh? but uh, <clears throat> i want to just say are there instances where you find yourself just uh, randomly vlogging you're like yeah let me vlog this uh, what do you do in such a scenario i think one of my strengths is um i wouldn't call it instant thinking mm -hmm. yes so i found i find myself in many scenarios where I'm like I, oh, I want to share this with the world but at that very moment i already have a theme which is the most important thing so my intro becomes very all these three elements build each other so when you have a theme it leads you to the caption which advises the intro and the ending of the video outro of the video and then the body captures the theme captures the body but what i'd say for any video that you're doing as long as you have a, a theme turn on your camera and do it do it wrong people sometimes i think with my videos even when i was traveling i was sharing moments where i had e-cups sometimes when i had to sleep on the train on the park mm -hmm. yeah so and i think people want to watch things that they relate to especially if you have um a circle of people that are watching your video yeah. two questions what do you think about collabs youtube collabs and um, what are some of the fears you had when starting the youtube channel uh, which one do i start with these are every question uh, collaboration is one thing i want to talk to uh, your youtube channel is your brand what you want to affiliate your brand with is very important now and tomorrow many people who affiliated their brand with pdd <laughs> yes i've also had hiccups where i've had i've collaborated with people but it almost costed me so you want to be careful who you collaborate with and if you're collaborating with somebody do not attach them to your video or your channel because um you might be seen with miko and then uh generally like i say it's your brand and it's business and then in future people would affiliate you've seen people sharing pictures of who did he was with who did he did what did he did it or not yeah so human general we are very judgmental so collaborations are great but i'm looking for great collaborations that have goals that are very oriented to the work that i'm doing uh what my fears when i was starting how did i overcome them i overcame them by okay so one of my fears is uh what if i put my face out there and people don't like my nose <laughs> I'm not talking particularly about my nose yeah. but generally we have fears within us uh that was the one thing and then what if I turn on the camera because I remember there was one time Jani was with me in the journey so he came here with the camera and put the camera in front and he said talk for three good hours I said nothing Nadang am I saying am I lying yes and then he gave me another one year then I started with this so now I'm even ready to run a commercial show and hopefully we'll run a commercial show with him and um yeah those were some of my fears but i break that i broke that show how did i break it i know it might sound evil but i experimented with 
um, people who became <laughs> who are not the biggest YouTubers and the first growing YouTubers in East and Central Africa. So I was using some people in a very positive way. <laughs> I'm not going to mention names, but to experiment and also get to build them. So I saw a gap and I needed to bridge it. There was a problem. I was looking for a solution. And I used them to experiment and it worked and we both grew from it. We both benefited from it. It's not a bad thing to use people. We use people more often, even your boss is using you. But you're getting money from it, right? Yeah, so use people but don't don't Yeah, don't misuse them. <laughs> English man. Wisdom. Yes. Any other question? So that's how I overcame my fear. Kama Akuna Swali Ningin. See, we celebrate and enjoy converse. If you have a more intimate questions, you can ask. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for staying with us uh, through this uh, 5K celebration. And to our loyal subscribers, we'll mention you in the next video. Uh, but for now, I'm going to share all the YouTube channels for the YouTubers around and also some of them who might be attending later. We're just finishing the snacks and the fruits, but we appreciate and celebrate you guys for pushing us through 5K. So right about now, do I say what YouTube give pace me? Yes. Huh? Yes. <laughs> Let us know if you want us to share that as well. Yeah, but it, it's it's the reason I'm really inspired. New uh, upper pressure. It's a four figure. It's a four figure amount. Figure it out. YouTube pays in. So why are you asking? So guys, the party is still on and I want to introduce to you the guy behind the success of this channel. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Victor with Victor, share with John. You're welcoming Victor with Victor again. <laughs> share with John. So John actually is uh, the brain and one of the masterminds <laughs> behind the success of Victor with Victor. Uh, so as we celebrate 5k we want to celebrate John so go to his channel I'm always sharing it on the shorts the videos share with John the reason why I share John most of the time is because he is the brain behind it so he's my personal assistant and is also the uh, manager for our project but also doing a lot of community work. He's definitely taken my job. Yeah, but John has an interesting story and journey as well. Uh, he's my mentee as well as my son as well on YouTube and in life generally. He runs my guest house and a lot of my businesses as well. So if you want to bring me down, John is the guy to. <laughs> what do you want to tell people, bro? Ah, oh, guys, I want to. Thank you very much for always uh, subscribing to my YouTube channel and also for always um, supporting me in terms of, uh, or how will I say, uh, correcting me whenever there's something that I'm, you feel like it's off each and every time whenever I'm, uplo I'm uploading the videos. Mm. That's, yeah, that's, that's, uh, co th those were comments that are always keeping me going. Yeah, so how has YouTube been for you? Huh? Can't say it's I cannot say it's easy. Mm. Yeah, you need a lot of work and also you need to be smart. I know how yeah. it's helped you, but how 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 in what ways do you feel like YouTube has helped you as a person? As a person? One confidence. Uh -huh. Yeah, like So now you are confident. I can't say I'm much uh, show it. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. I can say that a hundred percent confident, but I can at least I can walk around vlogging and uh, without caring who is seeing me on the on the street. What is the power of confidence in your life? The power of confidence. Like, how do you feel like confidence has impacted your life? Mm. in your daily activities or in your daily practices yeah it has impacted me a lot i got to meet new people mm. and i got to talk to them exchange with them uh, the, our exchange with them our thoughts and everything 
Yeah, I feel like YouTube has also improved your communication skills as well. I don't know if you've observed that, but also let us know in the com in the comment section as well. But go to his YouTube channel, share with John. Very simple, share with John. If you check, there's only one share with John on yeah. YouTube globally. And subscribe to his YouTube channel and support him. He's chasing a thousand subscribers. And we want everybody to be monetized. As you guys know, uh, in many cases, I'm not saying John in this case, one of our challenge in this country is lack of jobs and for me now that I'm making money from YouTube I think people can make money just sharing their stories and there are many people like my subscriber here who are open to listen to great story learn about Africa and this is what we want to share for the longest time Kibera has been seen like a dark spot so we want to share like really positive stories and how Sekiwa Kibera is and Africa at large so we demystify all these lies that are told about Africa what inspires you John? Ah, uh, you inspire me. Mm -hmm. I inspire you. Yeah, in, in YouTube, uh, in life and in YouTube, you inspire me a lot. Then you need to pay me. <laughs> I mean, I mean, yeah but um, most of these things that you see it's funny because i put john into practice into doing a lot of things i don't teach john by just telling him do this do this yes sometimes i do but i let him do it i help him i tell him okay so this is gonna happen and even today the party today john has made it a success a hundred percent Yes, 100% John made the party happen and so thank you very much. For that reason, let's repay him by subscribing, getting him to a thousand uh, subscribers, uh, the monetization threshold, so he can grow and also get the cake, yeah? Yes. What do you want to tell our viewers? <laughs> Guys, keep, keep giving us the support that we need and also don't forget, don't forget to follow us each and every time. Yeah. What, what's next for your YouTube channel? A lot. And I can't just disclose it. Okay. <laughs> to find out, please go to his YouTube channel, subscribe, and follow also. Let us know what you think on the comment section. And uh, peace, bro. A man of few words. <laughs> Bingos. Yeah. And next, ladies and gentlemen, is actually history in the making. Something that I was looking forward to doing and sharing with you guys. Uh, yeah, I really wanted to do this today and the day has happened So John is mentoring somebody that I've been mentoring. So he's also carrying some of the uh, Baggage that I've been carrying this guy is totally special I think I mentioned in a previous video and now I'm talking about it again. So this is Benjamin one day Benji So this is our new youtuber his story is very unique i think he should be on youtube share his story but most importantly also benji is a very good dancer this is the new youtuber as you guys remember when i was doing the nairobi tour um of nairobi constituency he was my cameraman and my rider as well why are you showing your face <laughs> come 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 benji yeah and it's been an interesting journey then uh, with benji benji is somebody who was you want to share with people your story bro how did you meet Vic and how did you get here yeah just share a little bit of it the rest of it they'll find in your youtube here is victor with victor i'm benji, benji Brian on youtube mm. Uh, I met Victor two years ago. Uh, he was a born and raised at, uh, at first. Mm. That's why we met. Mm -hmm. And we did a lot of things together. Mm. Uh, good or bad things? You have to be specific, bro. We did a lot of things which are good and which <laughs> motivated me uh -huh. and inspired me uh -huh. up to this level. Uh -huh. Yeah. We have vlogged together. We have a lot of story. I have a lot of story to tell. But he's gonna tell. It's gonna. I want him. I want you guys to go to his YouTube channel. Let's help him grow. Get to a thousand subscribers. So Benji is the newest, the last born. He's the freshest YouTuber that we just launched at 5K. But when we were doing the Nairobi stories, I think I was really inspired because I got intimately uh, involved like not intimately like intimate i got closely involved to his life and i had stories about him and i was like bro 
you need to share these stories and so i requested my subscribers to get me to 5k and then we can launch benji's youtube channel so i'll be pushing that alongside john's channel in all the videos but he is the newest youtuber congratulations to all of us so uh, are you looking forward to this youtube uh, journey yeah i'm really looking forward because at first i used to dream open the youtube mm. Since I was young, mm -hmm. I was in high school, but I've never had, I've never got someone like Victor and Victor who can inspire me to open YouTube. I had no idea. Now you have. But now I have, the, I have the idea. He has everything. Yeah, I'm so yeah. proud of you, man, and continue having the heart that you have. Continue building yourself. So, what should we be looking forward to on your YouTube? Just briefly, don't say everything. Yeah, my YouTube is all about lifestyle and how we grew up in slums. Yeah. Just lifestyle and build up. Right. Yeah. So right now, you, you you said you are my border border rider. Who are you right now? Uh, from the border border rider. That is a motorbike. Motorbike, yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now, I'm a car driver. He's the official, the driver, official driver, driver for the guest house and for the organization yeah. and for Victor's with Victor as well. Congratulations, bro. Thank and I wish you all the best in your YouTube journey. Keep smiling, keep moving, and keep building yourself. The sky is the beginning. Please go to his YouTube channel and subscribe. He's going to share with you stories of how, you know, just being the person that he is has changed his life. And I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, this party and are continuing enjoying. So we're going to get into Q and A with the YouTubers, and then appreciate you guys. Let's go.